agriculture boom and you name it, there was a boom. And one day in 2006, there was a different boom in Palestine and Gaza. There's a poem called Boom Town, Boom Time 2006. Just another typical Gaza morning, Jimril, worn out, bald Palestinian man, ex-farmer, ex-husband, ex-father, whose voice has been left in his groves, screams loud nonsense as he busily picks and wraps butchered limbs in tattered rags. Mulched legumes dress the dead body of the young girl who minutes earlier had greeted another customer with a smile. A booted foot is visible amid the twisted wrecks, shrapnel having severed it from its owner. The market flames with burning blackened bodies and all but one of the prostrate gasps. His last, a swallowed blood, steals his air. Later, across the square from inside the high school wall, whales broadcast over the mechanical arms that hiss and hum as they dig and scrape and push. By Drur, the truck remnants have been cleared to facilitate the umbilical of humanitarian traffic. From over the hill, a drone is heard for the umpteenth time, and to the crane driver, the taxi driver beckons with his one-fingered hand, anxious and frightened. Early in the afternoon, dreadlocks of illegal phosphorus choke the landscape and cloud their pitiable view. Happiness and happy faces have departed. Geneva, city of convention, is furious. On just another Irish day, Jimmy is busy in mid-banter, the small ball, the oval, the O'Neill ball, and of course the weather. He chops and weighs and wraps, skilled raconteur, master butcher. The centre girl greets all with lovely day greetings, smiles and talks night talk with her same age customers. Around 11, the booted hit the village, and hit the village, clearing the last of the darker sausages and stiff rashes. All but one can't wait for the first swallow of that fizzy drink. Ah, Jesus, I was gasping. Across the road, the pumps are quieter, and at the garage a few doors down, mechanical cranks drift out of the x forge in tandem with 103 FM. A hiss, a hum from a compressor. The last of the trucks are gone by Angela's time, and shortly after, the square facilitates treble parkers, people, their uniformed school kids. The umpteenth tractor drones down the hill towards the old mill, its driver a single finger waver, anxious for the comfort of solid ground. By early afternoon, thick white clouds have dulled their landscape, and happiness and happy faces have remained. Thank you all.